गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ लेसन नंबर फिफ्टीन दैट इज फन विथ मैग्नेट्स इन लास्ट पीरियड वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द मैग्नेट देयर टाइप्स एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट बट बिफोर दैट यू आर हैव वन लिटिल फन सो लेट सी मेक एन इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट मीन्स वी हैव टू मेक अ इलेक्ट्रो मैग वॉट इट वॉट इज दैट सो फॉर दैट हियर वी हैव टू यूज एन आयन नेल ऑफ अबाउट टेन सेंटीमीटर ओके देन वन मीटर लॉन्ग इन्सुलेटेड कॉपर वायर एवरी वन नो द कॉपर वायर विच इज यूज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट सो दैट कॉपर वायर इन्सुलेटेड कॉपर वायर वी हैव टू यूज एंड अ बैटरी बैटरी सेल येस देन पिन्स और अदर अ मैग्नेटिक ऑब्जेक्ट्स now to that nail we have to wind the copper wire around the nail properly as shown in the figure we have to tightly we have to wind the copper wire okay now join both the end of the copper wire to the cell see as shown in the figure the end points of the copper wire we have to join to the battery cell now take the pins near the head of the nail what do you see as we observe it here what happen after that winding that copper wire to the nail and joining that two ends to the battery cell and if we keep that pins near to the head of the nail we observe that that pins get stick to that nail the pins get stick to that nail why does this happen yes why does this happen why that pins get stick to that nail as here we connect the copper wire to the battery cell electricity will pass yes current will pass electric current will pass and because of that electric current in the nail there is it generate the magnetism in that nail it generate the magnetism it behave like a magnet yes so their name is what electromagnet because of electric current it generate the magnetism it generate the magnet and so that pins get stick to that nails understood everyone such a magnet is called electromagnet because of current because of the current it generate the magnetic property because of the current it generate the magnetic property as we remove that connection of the wire to the cell immediately that pins get fall off immediately that pins get fall off because the current will not pass understood everyone so that is called the electromagnetism so electromagnet and this electromagnetism is not uh, permanent it is temporary this property is only for some minute or some period of time so it is a temporary now in day to day life this electromagnetism is used in many places in our day to day life see in our day to day life for so many places we are using the electromagnet magnets are used in many instrument for example door bell is there crane is there then a pin holder or a door of cupboard or door of fridge is there so in that which magnet we are used that magnets are permanent magnets okay that magnets are permanent magnet permanent magnets are made from the mixture of nickel cobalt and iron it is the mixture of nickel cobalt and iron now another magnet that is alnico it is a mixture of aluminium nickel and cobalt it is a mixture of aluminium nickel and cobalt now see in the picture that is maglev train what it is maglev train the properties of electromagnetism and repulsion between the magnets are used in maglev train means electromagnetism means from electric current it generate the magnet and repulsion means opposite poles they are used okay opposite poles they are used in a maglev train due to repulsion between the train and the rail the force of friction does not come into play and the train slides over the rails with great speed the magnets fixed on the two sides of a train help it to move forward to see again more information about the maglev train their website are given and there you have to type the maglev train with the help of your parents you can see this video also now in the past in the past the british scientist michael faraday developed the technique of producing electricity with the help of magnet so michael faraday was a scientist what he developed 
he developed one technique to produce the electricity what we have to use but magnet from magnet generate the electricity michael faraday was born in a poor family as a young boy he had to work with a bookseller yes there he read many books and develop an interest in science later he went on to do research at a royal institution in london it is due to faraday's research that today we can use electricity and electromagnetism in innumerable instruments in our day to day life now we are using no uh, electricity and electromagnetism property only because of that michael faraday's discovery okay now see the next part that is do you know there is a strip of magnetic material in atm card yes everyone have observed the atm card or credit card so in that have one magnetic strip so where the necessary information about that user is stored so see that very small strip there have one our information are stored in that magnetic strip magnetic materials are also used to store data in the hard disk of computer and audio or video tape etc so in that also we use the magnetic materials okay now how is magnetism destroyed how that magnetic property get destroyed or how to handle that magnet that we have to see see magnetism get destroyed when a magnet is heated if the magnet is burn or it heated their magnet is magnetic property get destroyed again if we thrown any how we can thrown then knocked about or broken into pieces or we, if we knock it and if we broken into very very small pieces then also their magnetic property get destroyed therefore it is important to store magnets carefully a piece of soft iron is placed in the box in which a magnet is kept the bar of soft or pure iron protect a magnet therefore such a bar is called the magnetic magnet keeper in between the magnet we have to use we have to use a soft iron piece piece of soft iron see in the picture they shown the magnet keeper to protect the magnet okay now always remember various scientific discoveries the knowledge we gain through them the various instrument or gadgets we develop with its help are all useful for the process of man or for the progress of man they must be used for the good of mankind we have to take precautions while working with electricity or with important devices we must use them under the guidance of our elders means whenever we use that instruments or gadgets we have to take care okay now what we have learned in this lesson iron nickel cobalt are magnetic metals iron nickel cobalt are magnetic metal magnets settle along the north south direction when suspended freely magnetism is concentrated near the poles the poles of magnet cannot be separated electromagnetic energy is used in our day to day life now science watch scientists have made many discoveries and inventions on which our life depends today can i become a scientist too how should i prepare to become a scientist read stories of scientific discoveries and inventions try out various activities and different ways of doing them ponder over your experience means as you have to develop the interest in science you have to read the stories of scientific discoveries or scientists their life or their invention you have to read the books of scientific discoveries or on tv also on discovery you have to watch that clips also related to science understood everyone so here we conclude the lesson number 15 that is fun with magnet i think everyone have understood this lesson what is meant by magnet their types their properties their uses okay so complete your cw up to lesson number 15 from notes you have to complete your cw understood everyone okay thank you